Hi, so here we are going to learn one alternate method of finding or calculating the probability. This method is called the tree method of calculating probability. So we will take few normal examples or the general examples and then we will learn how to calculate the probability. So I have written down only two rules which we are going to follow to calculate the probability using this method. First rule is probability of the root node for the experiment is always 1 and second rule is probability of a child node is calculated as probability of parent node divided by the number of equal probable children and here by children we mean the outcomes of the experiment. The first example we are going to take is of tossing a coin. First we will draw the parent node and the probability of it will be 1. Then if we toss the coin we are going to get a head or we will get a tail and both these outcomes are equal probable so their probability will be 1 that is the probability of the parent node divided by the number of equal probable outcomes and at this level the number of equal probable outcomes are 2. One is head and another is tail. So the probability of you getting a head is actually 1 by 2 and the probability of you getting a tail is also 1 out of 2. And if we take this experiment further and again if we toss the coin, so after getting a head, if we toss the coin, again we can get a head or tail. Similarly, if we get a tail and then again if we toss the coin, we can get a head and we can get a tail. So for this option, what will be the probability? This head is the parent node for these two nodes and the probability of this node is 1 by 2. And here again we have two children, right? So probability of you getting this head will actually be half of 1 by 2, right? That is 1 by 4. Similarly, the probability of you getting a tail in the second toss when you have got head in the first toss is also 1 by 4. Here also the probability of you getting a head when you have already got a tail in the first toss is also 1 by 4. Here also you will get the probability as 1 by 4. And if you notice one thing, at any level, if I talk about this level, the sum of the probabilities of all the possible outcomes is always equal to 1. See here, this is actually 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is 1. And if we talk about at this level, here also the total probability of all the possible outcomes is also 1, right? So this is the alternate method of finding the probability and after this I am going to take two more examples. In the second example we are going to throw a dice and in the third example we are handling both dice and coin. So let me erase all this. So as we have said the probability of the root node of the experiment is always 1. So here the probability is 1 and in this example we are going to throw a dice. Right? A dice has 6 faces and if this dice is fair the numbers from 1 to 6 will appear only once. So if I throw a dice there will be total 6 possible outcomes. Right? What will be these outcomes? You can get either 1 or you can get a 2 or you can get a 3 or you can get a 4 or a 5 or a 6 at the topmost face. Here there are total 6 possible outcomes and since the dice is fair all these outcomes are equal probable. So the probability of you getting a 1 will actually be 1 by 6 where the 6 is the total number of equal probable outcomes. Right? There are total 6 outcomes. You can either get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 on the topmost face and all of them are equal probable. So probability of you getting 1 is actually 1 by 6. Right? 1 is the probability of the parent node and 6 is the number of equal probable outcomes. Similarly, the probability of you getting a 2 will also be 1 by 6. Here also you will have 1 by 6 as probability and all the other nodes will also have 1 by 6 as the probability. This is the case when the dice is fair. And suppose if we have a dice which has two fours and 
three twos, then what will be the probability? If we have three twos, these two nodes can also be written as two. The dice has three twos, one one, and it has two fours. That means five and six will not be there and we won't even have a three. We will have a one, then we will have three twos, and then we will have two fours. Right? So actually in this dice we have only three numbers and few of them are actually repeated. But the die is cube. So any face coming on the top has the equal probability. But since the three faces of the cube have two and two faces of the cube have four, the probability will be something like this. So probability of you getting one will actually be one by six as it is. But the probability of you getting two will actually be the sum of these three outcomes. You can get a 2 when this face is up or this face is up or this face is up. So since there is an OR between these three events, you have to add all these probabilities. So it will be 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 that is 3 by 6 or it will be equal to 1 by 2. So the probability of you getting a 2 is actually half where the probability of you getting a 1 is 1 by 6. Similarly, when we calculate the probability of you getting 4 will be the sum of these two probabilities and this will be equal to 2 by 6 or 1 by 3. So this is the way you calculate the probability when dice is not fair. And now we have one more example where we are going to roll a dice and we are also going to toss a coin. So again let me erase all this. So the question is first toss a coin and if you have a head toss the coin again and if you get a tails roll a dice or throw a die. So this is the scenario and in this case we have to calculate the probability of all the nodes. So how do we proceed? Yes again the topmost node or the root will have probability 1 and what is the first step of the experiment? We have to toss a coin and if we toss a coin we are going to get either a head or we are going to get a tail right and since both of them are equal probable the probability of you getting a head will be 1 by 2 1 is the probability of the parent node, 2 is the number of children which are equal probable and the probability of you getting a tail will also be 1 by 2. In the second step, if we are getting a head, we are going to toss the coin again. This is the place where we are getting head. So if we are getting head, we have to toss the coin again. So again, we can either get a head or tail and what will be the probability of this head? Yes, it will be half of this half that is 1 by 4 and the probability of you getting a tail in the second chance is again 1 by 4. And if we get a tail in the first step of the experiment, we throw a dice and when we throw a dice, we are going to get either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Here we have total 6 outcomes. So the probability of each one of them will actually be one sixth of the probability of the parent node and the probability at the parent node is half, right? So the probability of you getting a one when you throw a dice is actually one sixth of half and that will be one by 12, right? Similarly, the probability of you getting a two will also be one by 12. All of these will have probability as 1 by 12. So this is how you calculate the probability using the tree method and if you have noticed at this step these two outcomes have different probability than these six outcomes but here also if you add all this you are going to get the total probability as equal to 1. Similarly at this step also at the step 1 here also the total probability will be actually equal to 1. So the total probability of the experiment will always remain 1. So this is the tree method of calculating the probability and after this we are going to solve few examples based on the conditional probability. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.